I was in the coffee shop below my uh, office and was reading the uh, Kansas City Star, and I saw that Shannon Lucid had just come back from the uh, Russian Mir space station, and she had lost a lot of bone and muscle mass. I found the name of the uh, chief medical director in this article, so I called him in Houston, and he said, yeah, if you're gonna be around in Houston, you know, drop by sometime. Oh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I think I'm gonna be in, down that way in the next week. And the next day I got a call and they said, can you be back here in 48 hours for a full presentation? There's probably, you know, 60, 70 people around this conference table, like three or four deep. And by the time I got through with it, they said, well, hey, let's, let's go in this back room. And, and the chief engineer said, look, uh, we think we want to fly this, which means, you know, we want to put this in space because the astronauts were losing one to two percent of their bone mass per month and 30 percent of their muscle mass in a few months. We were moved up at the top of the mission critical list and every Saturday morning the chief of NASA got a report in this you know, meeting of where our project was because we had to get that on the stations. We got launched on the space shuttle and then it docked with the International Space Station and it was one of the first pieces of equipment that was offloaded and installed by the first crew. Bill Shepard, they called him Shep, he texted down to uh, Houston and said, you know, the weight room is open on, on Alpha. This is why NASA selected Spireflex is because we proved that it provided the same uh, benefits as free weights. I mean, everybody on the team was like, my God, you know, I can't believe we're developing the first resistive exercise device for space.